Finally on the way again. Welcome back to Jokmok. Now I'm heading south from Saltelukta. We're in the end of the season now and uh, there's only a few weeks left. So with me on this tour I have Christine and Kalle who are living in a cabin in the south part of North Sweden. Kalle is making his living as a YouTuber and YouTube is also an important part of Christian's work. So we are actually three filmmakers out on this tour. Our plan is to make a four day trip where we stay in cabins but also make some camping. Christine and Kalle have never been driving dog sled up in the mountain like this before so this is totally new for them. We will aim for the gate to Sarek or the delta in the lower part of Rapa Valley. So I hope you want to follow us on this journey. Expectations? I'm excited, I'm nervous because Matty has said that you can fall off the sled. So. <laughs> So how do you feel about taking us out now? Oh. But it's so much fun. Like when it's really going straight, it's so much fun. I love straight it. Straight and slow. <laughs> straight and slow. When we come to the hills, it's, it's a bit... Uh, it's, it's challenging for me. <laughs> I could do this for the rest of my life and be very, very happy. So now we're catching up with even more skiers here, you see. I think it's Minimum six gears with heavy pull cut. We see how they're doing. As a dog musher, when you pass by skiers, you should smile and you should look happy. Look here. Hello. You need a dog. Why must? <laughs> yes. Here's the second one. Hello, you need some huskies. <laughs> So, and then there is good if you can pass by the skiers without hurting them, without hitting them. It's usually not popular if you run into them. It's also bad if the dog pee on their pulkas or if they pee on the skiers. So passing by without destroying something. Here we go. Hello! Hi. You need dogs. Hello. <laughs> you need some more dogs. <laughs> Hello! Hey! You need dog! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here we go. Oh, we maybe should wait to see if Christine and Kalle smash someone. Stana, they maybe believe that they get points if they hit the skier. I don't know. We'll see. You didn't hit the skier. Nope. No, okay. no points. I'll try the next one. I will try next time. Yeah. Christine also. Yeah, we continue.
Hey again. Now we're arriving to CTR cabin and uh, here we're going to spend the night. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. So this is the first day for Kalle and Christine to put out the dogs. Everything is new, a lot of things is new. And then later, tomorrow and the next day, they don't need me anymore. <laughs> This is yeah. not aggressive. No, uh, not at all. It looks very dangerous right yeah. now. <laughs> very, very dangerous. dangerous but he don't like... He's very special. He don't want too much no. clothes, this guy. So today it's a lot of new works that popping up in the world. For example, you can work as YouTube cre content creator. And here we have one of the hardworking YouTube content creators from Sweden. <laughs> hey Kalle! Hey! You work as a YouTube content creator? Uh, it's a tough life, man. It's a tough life? Yeah. It's very tough. Yeah. I don't think any, anyone can do this, actually. No. It's, it's very demanding. Yes. Yes. Mm. You enjoy the life right now? Yeah, I, I kind of like it. Yeah? It's, it's kind of my speed. Yes. Mm. Three hours later. Oh, you're still here, Kalle. I'm still here. You're still happy. I'm not going to move, I tell you. No. Mm. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Fine by me. In this place you actually get the water from down there it's a holy nice and you fetch the water you bring it up here into the cabin and that water hole is holy you never brush your teeth you never do something stupid things like that in the water hole the water hole is for clean drinking water not for anything else It's also dogs like Homi, who actually don't need a jacket, but he gets a jacket because <laughs> he loves to have a jacket. And he's not destroying the jacket. That's also one really important thing. Some dogs are really destroying the jackets and they don't get jackets. Is that the true, Emma? What do you say about that, Emma? Do you eat jacket or should we try to give you a jacket today? We try to give Emma a jacket. I don't really know if she will kill this jacket, but we will see tomorrow. 
if the dog can get some help to use a little bit less energy, you should take it. So that's why we give Jackie a lot of dogs. So I would actually say that we had the great first day, but now it's time for the bed. See you tomorrow. After a night in the cabin, it's morning, you have breakfast, you do all that things. And uh, I have to dress my dogs and then we take off. And now we're on the way. Yes! Now we can let them drop. So, what does the magic box have today? <laughs> we have tea bags, coffee powder. This is so terrible week because you're not drinking coffee, so <laughs> I can't boil coffee. Only for me. You can boil for yourself. We have sausage, homemade sausage from Ika. We have some bacon. We have more cookies and cookies and bread. In a cup, mustard. Chocolate. Yeah. That's and the most chocolate. important. <laughs> and a knife. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So that's what's on the menu. We survive. So now we just have had lunch here, and I forgot to film the lunch. But Kalle filmed the lunch, so you filmed the lunch. Oh yes. So if you want to see. What we eat to lunch, you should go to Kalle's channel. Go for Kalle Flodin on YouTube, and then you find our lunch, maybe. If you don't edit it the way. Very often when people see these mountains for the first time in real life they could have seen pictures and that many many times and have been dreaming of coming here but when you see this, the gate to Sarek it's like free fall inside the stomach sometimes even me who have seen it so many times and I see so much people really enjoying it because it is beautiful. 
It is beautiful, trust me. Things like this make me humble for the life. Humble, ödmjuk inför livet, I would say in Swedish. Humble for the life or humble, yeah, I don't know. Humble something with the life. That's what I try to tell you. Now we are in Rapa Delta, in the lower part of Rapa Valley, and we are just under Skärpe, as you see. Normally I don't like to go here because the ice is kind of crappy, so you have to be super careful when you go here. Because suddenly it's no ice, it's just snow and it's just a river under you. And that is not hig, hig, what we want. But the dogs are doing fine and there is a snowmobile trail in front of us. And uh, it's locals who have been doing it, so we trust them. We follow the trail and see where we end up. Shit, this wall is massive. It's really massive. It's 700 meters from the top straight down to where we are. Hail okay. So we have arrived at our destination for day two. I don't know if you can see it, but we're just surrounded by these even more enormous mountains. Like we're in this most beautiful valley I have ever seen. It's so hard to describe how this looks like. It's surreal. Now, I made a mistake again. It's so beautiful here and we wanna film and we have been driving dog for a long time now and I forget to eat. You should always eat, drink and eat. Because now I'm hungry and uh, yeah. Then it's time for peanuts and a cup of tea. Maybe a sandwich, but it's so beautiful. If it's something that we know as Swedish people, that it's fika. Fika. Shit, also, I feel like some of my hair or some thing I just have lost in marathon. Oh yeah. You're so tired that you don't <laughs> even recognize that you're talking Danish now. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> but Matsi have to learn Danish. So. Yeah. Yeah. We have some Swedish chocolate. We have nuts. <sighs> oh boy, milk chocolate, cookies. bread, cookies, nuts. We don't need dinner. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, just we just take the sugar high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then gonna crash. <laughs> now we have a shot for the tent. Let's go back to the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Content done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We so in love. Mm. She says that's because mm. I have the money and you wanna go to Costa Rica. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> well, right? Yes. Like I said Costa Rica for two months and she's like, I love you, do you do. 
<laughs> I can't. Be- Nej, I just ska- said I can't believe that I'm gonna spend a night here, like in the middle of mountains like this. Like how many times do you do that in your life? Oh, that's nanny. <laughs> okay. Can you explain what you're doing? I'm trying to find snow that doesn't have um, like black spots in it because the guys doesn't care what they're drinking and I would like to stay alive. So <laughs> that, that is what I'm doing. <laughs> and it's completely free from black spots? Yeah. It's no. <laughs> yeah, it seems like. Almost. Is it yellow? <laughs> it's not yellow. <laughs> This stove is actually brand new. So this is much bigger than the other winter weld I had. The other winter weld I had was a little bit too tiny for pots and it was not it was giving uh, heat but this will be giving more heat of course. This is the biggest reason why we got this stove because normally Lightweight stoves like this have the rolling, I don't know, chimney. And I'm not friend with them. Hopefully, I'm friend with this one. Because as you see, this is a diff- total different thing. Hmm. Hopefully, we get friends. I'm a Barbie girl in a plastic world. It's fantastic. I'm so plastic. Kalle and uh, Christine went for water and they actually went out on the lake under Skerfe, as you see. And now Kalle is drilling hole number three. Two holes in the ground and hopefully he find water in number three. You see how far out he is. It's actually a far out. And he been drilling almost in the middle of the lake already and he just find the ground. Starting to think that it's not water. So this kind of lake is a little bit difficult because you have sediment coming in from the Rapa river and I don't really know where it's shallow and where it's water. I have such a hard time understanding that this right now is real life. What I have experienced these last 48 hours is something I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. We have uh, a good northern light behind us. I was on my way to fetch some firewood, but then we get even more northern light. So we have northern light and we have the moonlight. And that mountain is Chuckily 
and over there we have not much there and then we have Skerfe look northern light over Skerfe that's not bad good night to you with most energy today color I think so I'm excited so Christine had a cold night yeah, but I'm a newbie and I did all the newbie mistakes, so... It's not... It's very common that the first night winter camping is not your best night in the life. So, so welcome to the club. <laughs> now it can only be better. The first of many. And I get headache this morning because I was crappy drinkers yesterday. Not drinkers, <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> water but drinker. To be crappy busy. water, crappy tea drinkers. Yeah. yeah. We need to drink more today. Yes. And even if you have done the mistake several times, you can do it again. Yep. Packing up everything, making ready to go. And I'm still running around in long jumps. Of course, as, as normal. Straight under Skjerpe, you see up there. When you're here, you feel really, really tiny, really small. If a big block fall down up there and smash me, no one will hear me scream. That's how it is. So now we have driving out of the delta and we are on our way to Akse. Our original plan was to drive the same way back around the mountain ridge again, 50k to Sitoyar. But we changed the plan now because it's so warm for the dogs. So we will go straight over the mountain and down on up on this side and down on the other side. You looking forward to the uphill? Yes. So now we're starting this massive uphill climb uh, straight up the mountain. Christina is confident back there, and Matti is ahead of me. So. flat for a while. I couldn't film the, the steepest part. But look, we have done a kind of altitude meters up here. Walking, kicking, running. And of course, filming my pain for you, so you can sit there in the sofa and enjoy my pain.
you used to run. Yeah, you said it was going to be a tough hill. Yeah. When does the hill start? Oh, it's coming. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll, <laughs> but it's quite shorter if you do YouTube. Yeah. Are they behind you? Oi! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that! Wow! Look at him. Hello, Gandalf. You crazy bastard. Are you the crazy bastard, Gandalf? He is so cute. He's so nice. He's so lovely. Mm. Such a dog. Such an owner. So it could actually be a little bit scary when you're coming like this and you see the trees and the forest far, far under you. So I can really understand that people don't like this downhill. And you have responsibility for the dogs and you really don't want to hurt them. This is not a toy and this is not Disney World. So I can really understand and I'm actually happy that people take it serious. I prefer that people take it serious than that people take it like a game because it is our dogs we are driving and they should come down safe. When you're making a tour like this it's very often that you have something inside you that you're fighting with. It could be that you're afraid of meeting new people, it could be that you're afraid of crossing a river on weak ice, it could be if that you're afraid of something and you had to face your demon out here. Christine is making a tough fight now because she don't like high altitude, she don't like to be on high spots. So she have a tough fight today and she's doing very well. What we're going to do now is that we're going to make a quite rough downhill and uh, Kalle and I are going to take two of her dogs down and we're also going to connect them in a better way in just necklines so we can get more power to actually slow them down and this is also extremely difficult for Christine because she's more lightweight so what we're actually is doing is putting the leader dog the leader dog are still in the harness and all the other dogs are <laughs> homie Flo are only in the color yeah and this one we connect like this okay not clean enough so then we reduce the power and then Christine you just got the mini team yeah love it you love it yeah. the mini dogs very very slow yes <laughs> no action so now without any power yeah yeah or at least with less, much, much less power. It is quite rough. I really had to break a lot. So yeah, so yeah. Ah. For me, it gets faster and faster for a while and then uh, I really have my whole weight on the brake. Uh, oh shit. Oh, I'm done. I'm on the lowest part now. This is actually quite rough when you have a lot of dogs. It seems like Kal and I survived. We are alive. So 
far so good. So, so two of three person is alive. Yeah, but that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. But you really had to use your whole body weight. Yeah, yeah I, I completely stood on my brakes. Yeah. And I had one hand here and one on the camera. Yeah. So. <laughs> so we could understand that it's really tricky for Christina, who's really lightweight. Yeah, she has no body weight to put into it. Mm. So. She does it really well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. How are you? Not bad. Huh? For me it was. I had no control. You know it didn't? No. <laughs> I just then. are you happy? But what's after, what is after that hill? Is that downhill again? Nay. You have three questions per day. Three, <laughs> you have used two already. Are you sure you want to use your third and la last question? Yeah, what is, is it more downhill now? Waiting. Now we put them back as normal. And then we go. Christine don't really believe me that I said it's no more bad downhill, but... If you don't trust what I'm saying, that's a good thing. Because you shouldn't. So now we're coming closer and closer to see to our cabin and I'm really, really tired. I didn't sleep enough last night because of the northern light and uh, yeah. And then I've been drinking bad, not enough. So I'm a little bit headache and super sleepy actually. But that is how it is some days out here. You are not on the top every day. Some days you get tired. If you're out with a group, you can sometimes see that this goes through the group. One day, one person is full of energy, another day, another person is tired or something, yeah. And it has nothing about, it has nothing to do about how strong you are or how, um, yeah, of course, if you are fit, it's easier to handle the tiredness than if you are unfit. But even fit people get tired, and un sometimes unfit people don't get tired. So it's very individual, and it usually is different from different person, different day. And today, I'm tired. You made it? Yes, <laughs> I know you were filming now. <laughs> I just tol told uh, I'm so tired. I just told Matty that uh, thank you for pushing me because right now it feels so extremely good like we did it and I did it but again was this one yeah it's gonna be really hard to see on the okay it's a tall one yeah, I understand I was a bit scared on the top but uh, but this is what these trips are about isn't it like coming out of your comfort zone and see that you can actually do stuff he also told me like you're gonna uh, in the beginning, Christine, you're gonna do stuff you never believe you wanna do. You're gonna you want to do. What, what he said? <laughs> what did he say? You're gonna do stuff during this trip. During this trip that you never thought you would yeah. you'd be able to do. Able to do. That was the one. Yeah. And that is completely right. And I'm so tired. It's so hard to, for me to speak right now. But yeah. So it's a new day, it's warm in the cabin, we have have breakfast, coffee, tea, all that. Now Kalle is outside feeding the dogs, Christine is fetching water and I'm packing up the last things in here and checking everything. I'm always the last one usually, I feel that I'm the slowest one. Yesterday when we arrived to this cabin and the whole day yesterday I was kind of tired 
headache, sleeping bad. And it was the same with Christine. She was also very tired. Kalle was jumping around full of energy. But then when we arrived here, I got some coffee, something to eat. And uh, that was the same for Christine. The headache for us released when we get some food and more water to drink and relax a while. Then Kalle was out. He was super tired yesterday, I think. And you, it's interesting to see how this goes through a group. And that's totally normal. One day you're tired, next day another one is tired. That's why it's so important that you help each other all the time. Now we're on the way to Salta Lukta. The weather had changed quite dramatically from, from yesterday. It has snowed the entire night and it's obviously still snowing. And I can feel my energy is getting lower and lower. I slept quite bad. I slept like 10 hours this night, but I slept very oroligt, we say in Sweden. Sweden. Um, yeah, I couldn't really relax. Um, so today's the last day and then we're heading back to the, the cabin that we started in and having a really good and tasty dinner and a sauna. Actually, the sun is looking at us from the sky. There is a little bit blue sky up there, but we have been through the clouds. We have been, it's drifting snow here a little bit. And um, yeah. Now we just have the last part down to Salto look down. So, Kalle, you said I should push the red one. Yeah, that's usually a good start at least. That's a wreck bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then we should not look there. No, we should look there. Ah, Lovely. in the lens. Yeah. Is that the place where they record? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Pro tip, huh? Yes, that's super good. So, mm -hmm. now we have been out for four days. Yeah, four lovely days. And, uh, Christine? And Kalle, I told you when we started that you will do things that you never believe that you're going to do. Yeah. And did that happen? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I want to cry or, <laughs> or laugh right now. It's been, been the most amazing thing I've ever done. But oh my God. <laughs> it's been and you get some memory on the leg. It's been tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some blue spots. Some blue spots. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was, yeah. But it's been, I can only advise people to do this. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. But I've been crying a bit sometimes behind the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> because it's so beautiful. Yeah. And, and I think also Kalle, she cried because she liked the company of us. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. True. I think that's yeah. also... That makes sense. Yes. Two sweet and very supportive guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never pushing too hard. Or Never <laughs> pushing at all, actually. No, exactly. That's no. very true. Very soft. Mm. Yeah, very accepting. Yeah. It's actually a bit sad that we didn't film those times where I was really like for example with the cliff where I didn't want to go down I was not that deep but it looked deep and you know that's, yeah, yeah, that's times like we um, we wanted to film yeah but we didn't dare to bring up the camera so <laughs> we, if we had put up the camera it someone had killed us yeah I think so, so. <laughs> yeah okay we saved our own lives since yeah, then. yeah. so uh, where do they find you uh, just search for Kalle Flodin on YouTube and you will probably find the right spot I think and we put the link down there yeah and then I will probably be in the comments as well saying hi so and then you see Carl uh, building cabins and yeah. living in a cabin yeah exactly yeah. and where do we find you if you want more of a I don't know girly cello <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no it's not no uh, Christine Kia yeah. um, but you you send I think it's there. better we put the link for yeah. that also so yeah. yes and both on Instagram and Facebook no yeah. not Facebook so much no, Instagram YouTube and YouTube Instagram. yeah, yeah. That's for me. Yeah. Hanging out. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, you know what to do. If you don't like the video, don't follow the channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it's important. It's, yeah, it's very important. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they shouldn't be here. No, you shouldn't be here. You should go to somewhere else. See you next time. Ciao. Bye bye.